Democrats respond to the indictment of Trump by saying, the chaos continues. Following the announcement that former President Donald Trump had been charged on charges related to his handling of secret data, Democrat legislators reacted quickly, with some claiming that the former leader is not above the law and describing his actions as extremist and toxic. No one is above the law, Representative Jerry Connolly, DVA, said in a Twitter post. The chaos of Trump continues, Representative Greg Landsman, D. Ohio, said on Twitter. What he's doing to this country, the extremism and danger he and his allies present, has to end. Only when those who support and enable him decide to be done with this toxic behavior, will this all be behind us. Democrats hailed the charge as an affirmation of the rule of law, while numerous Republican senators accused the Justice Department of seeking to meddle in the forthcoming 2024 presidential race. Trump's apparent indictment on multiple charges arising from his retention of classified materials is another affirmation of the rule of law, Rep. Adam Schiff, DCA, wrote in a Twitter post. For four years, he acted like he was above the law. But he should be treated like any other lawbreaker. And today, he has been. Grand jury votes to indict Trump tweeted Rep. Ilhan Omar, D. Min, cheering the decision. It's time that we ensure Trump is banned from running for any public office again, echoed Rep. Jamal Bowman, DNY, in a press release. The indictment, according to Rep. Jimmy Gomez, D. Califf, is one of many steps toward removing Trump as a danger to free and fair elections. I will always believe that this twice impeached former president is a threat to our democracy," he tweeted. Other lawmakers responded in a more subdued manner, saying that Trump is innocent until proven guilty, and everyone is innocent until proven guilty, Rep. Dean Phillips DMN, said in a Twitter post. But we don't need a judge or jury to determine if his destruction of decency and dangerous incompetence continues to stain America. Trump has been charged twice already this year. After being captured by Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg with 34 felonies of first-degree business record falsification, Trump entered a not guilty plea in April. Trump has been ordered to appear in federal court in Miami on Tuesday, June 13.